Let me thank all of you for waiting to see us this afternoon. The illegal referenda that Russia held in Ukraine and the purported annexations of Ukrainian territory by force are a violation of the UN Charter and international law. They change nothing about the status and borders of Ukraine that is the firmly held conviction of the United States. This is the firmly held conviction of the Secretary General, and as you saw just now, that is the conviction of the Security Council, besides, of course, Russia. Not a single country voted with Russia, not one. You cannot go door to door, hold people at gunpoint, and force them to vote for your sham referendum. You cannot seize another UN member state's territory by force and call it your own. You also just saw Russia once again shield itself from accountability and responsibility by using the veto. This is not surprising, but it is a disgrace to this institution. It's an insult to every member state that has signed on to the UN Charter. For our part, the United States will never, ever recognize any territory Russia attempts to seize or allegedly annex as anything other than part of Ukraine. As you heard from Secretary Blinken today, the United States and our allies and partners made clear that we would impose swift and severe costs to those who attempt to illegally change the status of Ukrainian territory. And we will also continue to pursue accountability here at the United Nations. We're moving to the General Assembly where every country has a vote. In the General Assembly, the nations of the world will say loud and clear, it is illegal and simply unacceptable to attempt to redraw another country's borders through force. It goes against everything, everything the UN stands for. Putin has miscalculated. He's partying in Red Square and giving provocative speeches convinced that the world will let him tear up the UN Charter and do as he, he pleases, but he's so, sorely mistaken. The United Nations was built on an idea that never again would one country be allowed to take another's territory by force. And I still believe in that idea. The United States still believes in that idea and I'm confident that the vast majority of the world does too. We look forward to demonstrating that belief and reaffirming our commitment to Ukraine and to the UN Charter in the General Assembly in the days to come. And I wanna thank my colleague from Albania who joined us in submitting uh, the resolution for being here with me today. Thank you. We have time for two questions. Uh, thank you, it's Pamela Hall from CBS News, Ambassador. President Putin said that he will defend these new annexation or annexed territories with all means necessary. How do you take that threat? And what is your view of the Ukrainian application for expedited membership to NATO? Putin has been threatening Ukraine and threatening the world since the beginning of their unprovoked illegal invasion of Ukraine. So I have no comment on that other than to say we will continue to hold him accountable. Uh, in ter what was your second NATO? question? In terms of NATO, look, we believe in NATO's open door policy. And the 30 members of NATO with any uh, state that requests to join NATO will make a determination on what uh, will be done next. In the meantime, we will continue to support Ukraine's effort to defend itself. In the GA, next week? Uh, in the GA we will be taking the resolution, and I can't give you a time frame, but we're working on that immediately. One last question. Yes. Thank you, Ambassador. It's for both. Stefano Vaccaro, La Voce di New York. Uh, the four countries, they abstain. They kind of motivated their abstention because they say that they're in favor of peace and that this is now helping to ease the tensions. So what do you think about the reason why they abstain? You know, and I... Then, and then, I'm sorry, then a follow-up on a question before about the NATO. Uh, last week, the foreign minister of, of Ukraine, uh, we asked, uh, 
when he thinks that Ukraine will join NATO, he say it's not anymore Ukraine that wants, but he's NATO that wants Ukraine. And if you have a comment on that. Uh, first, on uh, the four countries uh, who abstained, I can't explain uh, their decisions to abstain, but I can refer you to the statements that they made in the council, and all four of them expressed concerns about what Russia is uh, doing in Ukraine. So their abstentions clearly were not a defense of Russia. They were not in support of, of Russia. Uh, and they made clear their condemnation of, of Russia. And then in terms of NATO, I think I, my answer is the same. The 30 countries of NATO will make a determination on Ukraine's re uh, uh, request to join uh, NATO, and we don't have an answer to when that's going to happen until uh, that uh, uh, is decided upon. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Ambassador, just want to confirm, so the U.S. will request to reopen the, um, resume the, the, the emergency session, right? Is that correct? We will request the emergency session of the, um, of the general.